Aloha and welcome to lesson two. My name is Russ Suvorov. In this lesson, we will move our discussion from project-based learning to project-based language learning. In particular, we will talk about what language teachers need to know and consider when adapting PBL to the context of language learning and teaching, and what makes PBL PBLL. When PBL is implemented in language learning contexts, projects have dual goals. One is to acquire content knowledge, and the other is to improve communicative competence in the target language. The project overview table in the project blueprint recognizes this dual goal. The first column is intended to identify the content knowledge targeted by the project. The second column is meant to identify the specific areas of language knowledge that the teacher expects learners to develop. And the third column specifies what the learners will do to demonstrate that they know the content and have developed their language knowledge. In PBLL, one way to ensure that your project will help learners improve their language knowledge is to follow the world readiness standards for learning languages. These standards provide a roadmap to guide learners to develop their communicative competence in the target language by focusing on five goal areas – communication, cultures, connections, comparisons, and communities. As suggested by the standards, language knowledge is based on learners' ability to communicate effectively in three modes. The interpersonal mode, which entails the ability to interact and negotiate meaning in spoken, signed, or written conversations to share information, reactions, feelings, and opinions. The interpretive mode, which refers to the ability to understand, interpret, and analyze what is heard, read, or viewed on a variety of topics and the presentational mode, which involves the ability to present information, concepts, and ideas to inform, explain, persuade, and narrate on a variety of topics using appropriate media and adapting to various audiences of listeners, readers, or viewers. In addition to improving learners' communicative abilities in these three modes, your project should provide opportunities for learners to develop their understanding of the culture. We include culture as part of language knowledge in the project overview table. You will learn more about infusing culture and project-based language learning in lessons 6 and 12. So how can we as language teachers ensure that PBL promotes and improves the development of language knowledge and culture? What makes project-based learning project-based language learning? We have created a table that illustrates an initial attempt to summarize how the eight essential elements of project-based learning can be adapted for a language learning context, and what considerations language teachers need to make when turning PBL into PBLL. Please note that we consider the ideas in the PBLL column to be work in progress, given that the use of PBL in a world language learning and teaching context is a relatively unexplored area. We do, however, hope that this table will serve as a good starting guide that will help you implement PBL in your language classes.